What's up guys, this is Roop and John and we are back playing some World of Tanks Blitz. So today I'm gonna open some chests from the recent missile event that has ended right now. Actually I shot this video quite a while back but I'm uploading it now. And I didn't play the event very much so I just got 8 standard containers, not even legendary containers, just the standard containers. And as we can see, the reports are not too great. It's, it's pretty bad. Just the 50 gold is kind of good, but other than that, we're just getting about 10,000 credits in every chest. Again, so that's pretty sad. <laughs> I get more more credits and boosters in my daily chest, the one we get every day. Again, 10,000 credits. That is pretty bad other than this chest right now <laughs> we got a t15 a premium tank come on it's that's so lucky getting a t15 from a legendary chest is lucky enough and getting it from a standard chest it's just much more luckier so yeah the in the end it turned out to be good for us because we won a free premium tier 3 light tank and any kind of free tank is good enough so this event did turn out well for me I did win a tank the T15 let's check out some of its stats now so it has 430 hit points and a speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour standard shell damage from 30 to 50 18.41 rounds per minute average damage of 40 in its AP rounds and all it's an uh, average tank I guess not too bad not too good so let's check it out in a match in a battle so this is the mines map and it's a tier 3 plus tier 2 battle so anytime it's a tier 3 plus tier 2 battle don't think about it much just rush to the hill uh, because the opposition wouldn't be a as well versed in the map as you will be and you'll once you capture the hill it's pretty much your game you're bound to win uh, in this match you'll see that I win an easy first class it's if if it's a tier 3 or a tier 2 battle and you capture the hit in the mines map you'll most probably either get a first class or a master I still haven't managed to master this tank yet but I think it will be pretty easy to master it I've got a bunch of first classes in it and yeah we set that guy on fire that happens too sometimes with this tank we we got the first kill and here's an enemy T82 and he just hit us so basically you don't have to put put much effort while playing this tank because it's just a tier 3 battle and most of the players are inexperienced right now and you can <laughs> You can just play like a noob if you want to and you'll still end up with a first class or a master or at least a second class. I am I I am not playing particularly good to be honest just I'm just playing normally and we got two kills already. The first two kills. We spot this guy and that's a beautiful bounce we got off of him. And this is the medium 3 right here. We are getting some good shots. So as you can see, once you capture the hill, you're, you'll get pretty good shots at the enemy. You, you get a bit of cover plus a very good view uh, to hit the enemy tanks. And okay, we, we got a lot of hits now. So we need to play conservatively a bit so that we don't lose much of our HP. We are already at one fourth of our health but the enemy just has three tanks left in the end it wasn't the best I could have done I could have done better though oh but the 
penetration of the gun is not too good as you can see i just hit that house and it did not break and it's yeah i hit the house again and it still didn't break and it's supposed to be a breakable object so we hit that guy's tracks and somebody else gets the kill there's just a T46 left now. Let's see if we can get that kill. And okay, we shot him, but okay, somebody else got there. So in the end, it's just two kills and not not much on our part. But you'll see that I'll get a first class. So this just demonstrates that this tank is pretty easy to get a first class or even get a mastery in it. So yeah guys, that was the T15 premium tank, be sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe.